Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I would love for you to stay a while by clicking that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you don't miss another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made over my laundry room that was a total disaster before. So if you want to see how I put everything together, keep on watching. Now here is the laundry room before. It is a hot mess express. There was some semblance of organization, but there was nothing pleasant about being in this room. And with a family of five, I'm telling you, we're always doing laundry and this room needed to be more pleasant and definitely more functional. So we started off by taking down these wire shelves, which are the absolute worst storage solution that ever existed in my opinion. I wanted to add some cabinets all across the room, so I ordered some prefab cabinets from Lowe's. To help us mount the cabinets on the wall, we used a piece of trim that we had in the garage as a support, and we went ahead and inserted all of these screws into the studs. I made sure to add extra screws into the studs. I kind of went crazy with those. Um, because I knew I was going to be hanging um, or storing heavy items in these cabinets. Instead of having bottom cabinets, I decided to use these drawer sets and I got them from Home Depot. These did require some assembly, but it was not too bad. And for a countertop, I had this laminate countertop that is like a full marble finish. And I just thought it looked really good for a laundry room. As pulls for the drawers and the cabinets, I used these handles that are acrylic and silver that I got on Amazon and I made a template um, manually so that I could know exactly where to drill my holes so that I could install these handles. The back wall was filled with a bunch of holes at the end of all the install and as a solution, I chose to use these peel and stick tile. I've worked with them before. There are some styles that are definitely not repositionable. So if you, wherever you stick it is where it's gonna stay, but these ones were very easy to work with. I was worried about lining up those grooves and everything, but everything turned out really nicely, so I definitely recommend. And for the gaps that were left after the install, I just used some adhesive caulk to fill in these gaps, and we had a pretty seamless finish. And to give the tile a finished look, I used this um, peel and stick PVC decorative trim and I also got this on Amazon. I wanted to give the top of the washer and dryer like kind of like a built-in look. We had some leftover shelves from the makeover of our pantry and we put those together and added a piece of trim in the front and this is the result. Now that everything was in, we gave the room a nice fresh coat of white paint, which is my favorite paint because it just makes everything look crisp and clean. For convenience and ease, I used these round rechargeable magnetic lights under the cabinets. They have an adhesive metal round that you attach to the cabinet and then the lights have a magnet on the back that make them easy to remove when you need to charge them. Now it was time to organize. I just gathered everything that I had and everything that I bought and used these acrylic bins to group them together and keep them contained.
I did color coordinate all of my products as much as possible to give the cabinet a nice um, cohesive look. In the first cabinet, I just kept most of our cleaning products and some travel size items on the very top shelf because we don't travel as often as we used to, so I don't need to access those all the time. If you're enjoying the video so far, give it a like and maybe consider subscribing so that you can come back for more. In the next cabinet, I added some cleaning products, more cleaning supplies and tools, and our spare bath rugs. The things I use less often, obviously I added them to the very top shelf, like these attachments. The last cabinet, I just added all the overflow and extra um, bottles of detergent and bleach. Next, I ended up using these beverage containers to decanter all of our laundry detergent and liquid bleach. Those I keep right next to the washing machine because they're easily accessible and we use them very often. I did end up labeling these later because my husband asked me if the clear liquid was bleach. Um, I thought it was obvious because we don't use that much stuff but <laughs> I guess not. I got this container for our dryer sheets and I used these large glass mason jars for the borax and scent beads. Now inside the cabinets, I decided to also label, even though everything is clear and you can see what's in it, it would just kind of give a general idea of where things go. And I printed these labels off of the computer and got these little label holders from Amazon and they fit perfectly in between the handle of the bins. For the organization of the drawers, I used Dollar Tree clear storage solutions and some other acrylic bins that I already had. I kept the items that I accessed the most often in the drawers and I also thought of putting all of our grocery bags in this canister with lid also from the Dollar Tree. I used the bottom drawer for our steamer and ironing supplies and hung the ironing board, steam mop, and dusters behind the door using a Dollar Tree over the door hook. To decorate the space, I opted for functional decor as much as possible. I started off with this abstract rug and wall accents to match. I use a mirror tray to keep a vase with greenery to add a pop of color. My dryer sheets were on there as well as a candle. I used a long decorative tray for the wool dryer balls and some more greenery throughout. And finally, I finished off the space with some curtains, which for some reason I thought it brought the whole space together and made it look and feel so much cozier. 
Let's take a quick look at the before. And now here's the after. I am so happy with the way this space turned out. I love the functionality and the feel of it. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this laundry room makeover. And I hope this video inspired you to make some changes to your laundry space. And that's it you guys. If you want to see some detailed insider videos, make sure to join the channel. Follow me on social media if you don't already do. And I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video. God bless and bye-bye.